All right, today we're going to be learning section 9.7, the tangent ratio. We're in our textbooks on page 489. Now, both sections, 9.7 and 9.8, deal with trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, the key to getting these right is to learn the ratio of the sides for each one of them. And there's a shortcut or a, a little acronym that you can learn that will help you remember the ratio of the sides for each one of these um, trig ratios, okay? So we have sine, that's our S, okay? You're writing these down as I'm explaining it. Sine is our S, and sine means opposite over hypotenuse. That's what you see here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, also remember that we're dealing with right triangles for all of these, okay? And you'll see that in, in the next example. Then we have C for cosine, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which you see in this fraction right here. Then we have tangent. T stands for tangent, and tangent is opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent. We see that in the fraction there. Okay, so the acronym helps us remember which side links are in the fractions for which trig ratios. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. All right, so here's the question. Okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, opposite to what? Okay, so for each one of the trig ratios, all right, for each one of them, I have to have a starting point or a reference point. And for these ratios, that will always be an angle. All right, so it says for triangle PQR, find the tangent of angle P. So tangent of P equals, now what did I say my tangent fraction was? Tangent is opposite over, uh-uh, opposite over, look at your papers, opposite over adjacent. So write on your paper, tangent P equals opposite over adjacent. And now we're going to plug in the side links that are opposite over adjacent. So look at where angle P is. Which side is opposite to angle P? Hold on, no, side, not angle, side. Side, guys. The side that is opposite to angle P is 77. And the side that is adjacent, remember adjacent means connected to or it shares a common midpoint or endpoint. The adjacent side is 36. And that's it. What about 85? What's 85? It's either going to be opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. It's hypotenuse. Well, tangent ratio doesn't call for hypotenuse, so that one doesn't matter. Okay? So tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that's why we made it 77 over 36. The angle is our starting point, and it said find the tangent of angle P, so that's how I knew to start with angle P. Now I want you to find tangent Q. You go ahead and find tangent Q now. All right, so tangent Q, pay attention. Tangent Q equals, what is my fraction for tangent? Opposite over adjacent. So which side is opposite to tangent Q? Very good. Opposite side is 36. And which side is adjacent? 77. So that's my answer. All right, questions? Opposite over adjacent. Who got it right? Did you get it right? Okay. All right, example two. Now in example two, you're going to use your calculator. Notice on the third row of your calculator, you see the tangent button, T-A-N, 
go ahead and tap that button and enter the degree value, which is 18, and press equals. Now, on these, you are always going to round or approximate to, the, to four decimal places. So use your approximation symbol. Tangent of 18 is 0 0.3249, and I keep it a 9 because the next number is a 1. All right, so we always approximate these to four decimal places. Just in your calculator, press the tangent button, enter 18, close the parentheses, and press equals. Go ahead and find your tangent values of the next two. All right, what's the tangent of 45 degrees? 1. Okay, so that was a whole number. What about the tangent of 39 degrees? 9, 8. We got to round up. 0 0.8098. Did you round correctly? Okay, and we use our approximation symbol because we rounded. All right, so that's all we're doing. Now we're about to connect examples one and two together. You have, um, you have some that are going to look like this on your quiz on Monday, okay? Now, the, example three is a word problem. I'll show you more what it's going to look like on your quiz and homework in a second. But in example three on page... 490, 490 if you want to turn there, okay, it says that the tangent value, now it gives me a value for this angle, it says that the angle, turn to page 490 in your books guys, it says that the angle measure is what, it says that the angle measure is 6 degrees, so now, instead of saying tangent P or tangent Q, now I'm going to say the tangent of 6 degrees because it gave me an angle measure, okay? And that equals the distance, which I don't know, because um, which side, look at, the, look at the picture. You see 6 degrees over here. Which side is opposite to the 6 degrees? Which side is opposite? Look straight across. It's, it's side D, right? You see the D? That's opposite from 6 degrees. So that's why D goes up on top because it's opposite over adjacent. Over 4,700. So now you've got to do two calculations. The first thing is you've got to find what is the tangent of 6 degrees. So in your calculator, tangent of 6 degrees rounded to four decimal places. That gives me 0.1051. Did you get that? 0 0.1051 equals D over 4,700. Now, how would I solve for D? How do I solve for D? How do I get D by itself? Very good. Multiply both sides by 4,700. And whatever that is, that's my D value. Round to the nearest. It says round to the nearest 10 meters. Okay. So D is going to be approximately 494 meters. But it wants us to round to the nearest 10 meters. So it's going to be 490 meters. Okay. So now let's look at one of these, and this is how it's going to look on your homework tonight and your quiz. What if I were to give you this triangle, and it has this measure and those side lengths, and I were to say, find x. Well, where do you start, okay? Well, you always start with the angle measure. And in this case, it tells you it's 52 degrees. So what do you know about the side lengths? as they relate to 52 degrees. So what I'm asking is, do you know the side lengths? Do you know opposite and hypotenuse? Do you know adjacent and hypotenuse? Do you know opposite and adjacent? What, how do the side lengths relate to that angle? 24, okay, let's look at 24. Is 24 opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent. It's adjacent, okay? And is x opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? 
So since the sides are opposite and adjacent, I know that that's tangent. Tangent, and that's going to make more sense in just a second. Um, or when we do 9.8, you're going to see how it all ties together. So tangent, how did I know it was tangent? Because the sides that relate to 52 degrees, they're opposite and adjacent. That's my tangent ratio. Tangent of 52 equals opposite, which x is opposite the 52, over adjacent. All right, and now I'm going to solve. I have to find the tangent of 52 degrees. All right, and then I solve. So I want you to try to finish this. All right, so what do I do now? What do I do now? Amelia, the only one that knows? Is that what you did? Multiply both sides by 24, and that gives me x. x e or is approximately, because we have to round to the nearest tenth. We always round to the nearest tenth on these. 30.7. All right, how many got 30.7 before I did? Did you get 30.7? Okay, um, so your answer, you'll always run to the nearest tenth, but the instructions will say that, so just follow the instructions. All right, if you understand that, that's everything you need to know for 9.7.